Hello. Poised. You need to be poised all the time. Why? So that you can achieve your dreams. If you're happy and jumping up for energy and things like that, then when the problems come, you will not be stable enough. It would be lovely, Daniel, to build a... You will not be stable enough. So here, the reason I put it here, the uh, poised, is because I need to be able to see which video is which so that I don't delete the one I just recorded. The title of this memo is She is Verbally Abusive, March 6, 2014, 1.37 p.m. She is verbally abusive. That means that she yells for approximately 14 years. However, recently, I discovered a technique to stop her yelling. Number one, I don't smile. Number, I have a serious face. Number two, I stay away from her and don't start any conversations. Except for, I need sex. It's a very short statement. I need sex. And that has given me sex three times a week now. So I'm very grateful. Uh, number three... I don't bother her. I don't do things to bother her directly or indirectly. I don't touch any of her things. I don't uh, I don't put my weights in the living room, which is what bothers her. I don't I gave her all my tools because she likes to move them, so I just gave them to her. Yes, and then when she wants something, I said, "Well, where did you put it? It's your tool. Where did you put it? Uh, so she obviously has different ways of fixing things. She just calls a carpenter to come over and fix things. And I invest my time with my son. All right. So now I can delete the voice memo. Yes, sometimes in marriages... Some people are very incompatible. They're not, they don't belong together unless they both learn to adapt and accomplish and communicate. Uh, 14 years is a long time. Uh, I would do it again. Uh, the reason I'm ending it now is because I am useless to my son in jail. So that's why the marriage is over. And we are both happy to be getting divorced. God bless you and those that surround you. If you're having a tough time, find people that will help you, people that will encourage you. There was a lady in Africa that told me the purpose of marriage is sex, sex, sex. And she had three children. I appreciated this advice. She said, you, needed, you need someone to love you, Daniel. Sometimes you get weird or you become a different person because you don't have anybody giving you love. And you're getting verbal abuse every day. So now my life is over. My life, my old life is over. My new life is beginning. Take care of yourself. Take care of the body God is giving you. Take it for a walk, exercise. Enjoy your body that God is loaning you.